in this uh, video we will show you how to fabricate or how to uh, work with a shaping machine okay so if you have gone through your uh, manual uh, you must have seen that you will be working with a lathe milling machine shaping machine okay so uh, in the shaping machine actually we will be doing uh, two models okay one is a, a square cut and also we will be doing a v cut okay so uh, regarding a milling uh, shaping machine i feel that uh, you would be knowing like what is shaping machine types of shaping machine for what purpose uh, you will be using this shaping machine okay so just a introduction to shaping machine is uh, shaping machine is the one which is uh, widely used uh, to make a flat surface okay so uh, this particular machine uh, the relative motion is quite different uh, when you see the way how uh, the tool and the workpiece rotates in a lathe in the case of uh, shaping machine the relative motion will be like the tool will be sliding and the workpiece will be at stationary okay but in the lathe workpiece will be rotating and the tool will be sliding clear so there is a, a huge difference uh, between the lathe and the workpiece lathe and shaping machine in terms of uh, relative motion okay so i'll just uh, go through the various uh, major parts that is present in uh, the shaping machine okay so this is the ram okay that this ram will slide forward and backward okay uh, so material will be removed during the forward stroke okay and once it goes back there will not be any type of uh, material removal okay so in order to move this ram forward and backward there is a crank and a slotted mechanism okay so uh, you cannot see that uh, the this is a mechanism which they used to convert a rotary motion into a sliding motion okay so because of that uh, ram yeah you can see now crank and slotted okay so you can uh, refer the manual it is uh, been uh, given in the manual okay so that's a crank and slot mechanism this is the ram and uh, this is the tool post okay tool post is a place where we fix our workpiece okay so the feed will be given by using this handle okay and uh, this is the vise uh, where we keep the workpiece okay workpiece will not be moving but the tool will move forward and backward so now we are fixing the tool okay it's a single point cutting tool or a, a v tool okay so that will be that is being fixed now uh, we are doing uh, we are showing you exercise 1 like how to do that square cut okay, you can see the way how feed is given you just need to rotate when you rotate the tool will come down and cutting will be taken place So we'll just show you how to uh, fabricate the flat surface. Okay, so the shaping machine is widely used uh, to make the workpiece flat. See how that ram moves. Okay, so during the forward stroke, the material will be removed. Okay, so during the backward stroke, there will be uh, no material removed. So that's how uh, you will get the flat surface. So when the surface is uh, not flat, uh, we can make it flat surface easily by using a shaping machine. after uh, making the surface flat uh, you have to do the marking 
a marking uh, will be done uh, according to the dimension okay so now i am showing how to uh, do that uh, rectangular slot uh, by using a shaping machine so okay so that's your exercise one okay so if you open page number 59 in your manual you can see the dimensions of the work piece okay so that exercise one will be uh, doing now you have to do a marking according to the dimensions by using measuring instruments uh, uh, marking has been done okay so after marking you have to punch it because uh, these markings may go or would be difficult to uh, see it while uh, uh, machining so normally it will be uh, punched okay so once marking is done you have to fix back uh, the workpiece uh, back in the vise and you have to do a rectangular cut now once the marking is done you have to keep the cutting tool exactly at the center you can see the marking which has been done at the center of the workpiece okay in the same place the tool has to be placed the tool has to be changed you have to use a parting tool okay to make that rectangular cut or rectangular slot you can see okay earlier we used this tool okay now we have changed the orientation of the tool and uh, right now we are using parting tool so to tighten it just following the marking which has been done okay so that's why marking is very important if you, if you fail to do correct the marking according to dimensions your entire cut goes wrong okay so marking is very important so first uh, step is done now you see the sketch it's a rectangular cut with the two steps okay so first step is done now now we are going for a second step now rectangular cut is completed according to dimensions you can see step okay so this completes exercise 1 